Well, someone looks like they could use an epaulette to cry on. I'm not trying to carb shame you, Kevin, but whatever's on your mind, it's not worth it. So put down the Swizzler and tell me your tale of woe. I could use the distraction. Well, there's this guy and we've been having problems. Moose, you mean? Please, I have eyes. I saw you lounging together at my pool party looking like a community theater production of The Talented Mr. Ripley. The cruise ship's been troubled from the gay get-go. Maybe it's time you move on. I can't go back to Fox Forest. Oh, sullen, tender-hearted Kevin. I'm not talking about cruising. I'm talking about Bumble. Look, I'm sure you can find a well-adjusted, handsome, out-and-proud fella here. That'd be nice, but I, I like Moose a lot. I just wish he'd be honest with his dad so we could date, you know, openly. What's his hangout? Major Mason's not the biggest fan of our persuasion. It burns me that there are people in this town that still believe that being gay is anything less than rapturous. Maybe Moose would come out if you liked me more. No, it's not your fault, Kevin. Your aesthetic may be firmly rooted in the 1950s, but you're a catch in any decade. As for the object of your affection, maybe he just needs the subtlest of nudges? A bulldozer wouldn't be enough.